Tonight, a firebug is burning his way through Hillsborough County, most likely with the help of a buddy. Cops are baffled, neighbors are terrified, and the bad guys, well, they are still on the run. News Channel 8's Melanie Michael is live in Hillsborough County with a look at this case. Baffling's a good word for it, Mel. Perfect description, Jen. Good evening to you. Seven fires, two weeks, and one very worried neighborhood. So the question tonight, take a look. Who is doing all this damage? Random rampant fires are way too close for comfort, hitting way too close to home for Deidre Russell. They go up, all of us go up. You know, they're, I mean, they're just trailers. You know, they, the, everybody says it takes seven minutes, you know, to burn top to bottom, and it's very scary. In fact, check out just how close the firebug struck feet away from Deidre's house. You know, people took a lot of time to build this. These are people's homes. You're burning up stuff in your own town. I mean, what are you trying to prove? Seven fires, all in less than a month, all in eastern Hillsborough County, all within roughly a five-mile radius, and nearly all of them involving a mobile home. This, I mean, if this goes up, this tree right here, and oh, it yeah. stretches right over to your, yes. right over to your property. Yeah. So the big question now: Who is setting all these fires, and why? Investigators confirm it's the dirty deeds of a serial arsonist. Someone who doesn't like Donald Trump and leaves graffiti behind. Someone working fast and furious, and detectives are trying to keep up. Uh, it's very frustrating, but I can assure you we are working around the clock. In the end, firefighters themselves feel that this devious destruction is something everyone can relate to. Just like Deidre, who calls this crime way too dangerous. If they're going to end up killing somebody one day. Well, of course, just like you and I, they're concerned about becoming a victim in their own community. So tonight, investigators with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and Hillsborough County Fire Rescue really want to get some clues and some tips on this case, Jen, because no one, they say, should ever have to live like this amidst arsons in their own neighborhood. Oh, without question. But uh, here's what I'm wondering, Mel. Are we looking at, what kind of description are we looking at here? Well, that's the interesting part of all this. Neighbors tell us they actually saw the suspects running away, and most likely they are teenagers. Can you believe that? Also, there's a vehicle description that they're putting out there right now, possibly a Toyota or a Nissan with a spoiler, very shiny rims, and a loud exhaust. So some pretty specific details about that car, the getaway car. Hopefully someone out there will know something very soon, Jen. Melanie Michael, live in Hillsborough County for us tonight. Mel, thank you.